want children to go back to school in April. From the perspective of as a parent, I don't think that they're ready on the school plans to deal with this um, pandemic. And anybody that has small children or has interacted with small children for a long period of time will realize that children don't have a concept of germs and dirty. They would put their hand in the face and touch the ground, dig up in mud, all sorts of things. And based on what I have seen in certain schools with respect to sanitary equipment in the bathrooms and the bathrooms being cleaned frequently, I don't feel comfortable with my children going back into school. And for me, this was a learning experience as a parent with respect to teaching. I mean, I always had a great respect for teachers, but seeing how our standards as a people have declined seeing how children behave in the classroom and how teachers are overwhelmed and frustrated and to some extent how some of them are ill-prepared and ill-equipped to handle the teaching in a technology technological landscape i think that the ministry needs to work on having people who are not only competent but creative with new teaching methods because a lot of teachers i find brought the older teaching methods into this new landscape and it can't work you have to incorporate audio visuals into teaching not just be talking people fall asleep and as a parent i could tell you i went back to school i went back to school i sit with her through the entire classes and i find that her school did a really good job but when i heard stories from other schools they're really struggling and for me the ministry should have taken the time that the children were home now to have focus groups and focus groups of people who are only talking action people to come back with a plan on how to captivate young minds in this technological landscape because when you go back into the classroom things is not going to be business as usual this is the time to embrace the technology and by embracing technology i don't mean going wholesale with it take the good parts of the technology and the good parts of the older teaching methods and amalgamate them to bring a new classroom for the 2000s because a lot of the children have fallen so far behind and also i think that with regards to 11 plus the need to scrap it they had this time to work out a new method do continuous assessment and ensure that the children are working consistently and move forward from that perspective but i hope you're not to go back in september because i'm not looking forward to the april well i am not very certain that i am ready for children to go back into school in april again i feel that they need to have a, a little bit more collaboration and talk before they actually start school in april well, I mean, I think it's a positive initiative. Obviously, you have to uh, have the protocols in place. But I think, from a you know a physiological and a mental health pers perspective, yes, the children are more adaptable. But a lot of them miss their friends. They miss their friends. You know, they're little. Uh, they want to be, be able to play freely again. Obviously, you got to do it safely. But there's nothing really. I mean, you could you could do things online. You could have a online meeting or. A, Google Classroom or whatever, but it just the energy is not the same as if you are in person's physical presence. And I think the children really miss that, and it will do them. It will do good for them, right? And then therefore they're gonna be less cranky. They're gonna be less pressure therefore on the on the parents. And I think that there will be an indirect and some direct uh, positive effects overall, especially once the proper procedures and the protocols are maintained. People wear the mask and so on. I think it's a positive thing. I don't mind the children going back to school because some of the school children do need face to face. But if once they can kind of guarantee or reassure parents that it's going to be done in a safe manner, it is worth it because they catch a lot of things with children being in school. They catch the abuse, they catch the no food, and with a lot of people out of work, you know, food is a big problem now and children going back to school can help that so it is a good thing but yeah it's still a bad thing because with the corona out there people are not being wearing the masks and not being safe that's the bad but you have to weigh your options of good and bad and the good outweighs the bad at, at this point